as we know, there has been a conversation starter mm -hmm. uh, by the name of Kevin Samuels. An up war starter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's start with like, you tell me about how you learned about Kevin Samuels and your immediate thoughts. Mm -hmm. What really gives you the right to be this opinionated in terms of relationships? Where is your history of successful of a successful relationship within your life? It kind of reminds me of Derek Jackson. He's talking all this shit about like how, what women should be going for or not go for, but we didn't know about his wife until we found out that he was cheating on his wife. I don't like the relationship gurus who don't have anything to back it up. Because I feel like if you feel like so entitled to give those kind of opinions, you need to have a wife, a healthy relationship, and a healthy family dynamic. That's the first question I like to ask. Like, why do you think most men resonate with the content and most women dislike the content? So statistically, you know, I work in marketing. Right. 80% of retail decision-making is made by women. And because that's the case, and because we know capitalism makes the world go around, right. the machine has focused itself on the woman. Mm -hmm. How does the woman think? How does the woman feel? What reality does the woman want to create for herself? Yeah. So with that being said, like you get Derek Jackson's because he understood that women are the ones who spend the money. Mm -hmm. Women are the ones who shape culture. So let me tell women exactly what they want to hear. Dude. Somebody, mm, he was always somebody that I liked simply because I knew he was a married black man to a black woman. Like, he is a black man who looks the fuck good. He's married to a black woman who looks the fuck good. He is faithful to that black woman. I, I just know that based on, because I, I've had conversations with him outside of that, outside of this. Let the ladies process all this. You know, we, we, I, ladies, you might be done processing. No, you're not. You're gonna keep processing. Cause we had to endure him for many years. You're gonna have to process for just as many while we just go, we told you so. And unfortunately, there are not enough people or spaces with enough uh, courage to tell the truth. The reason Kevin Samuels is, is famous is because he decided to push back, right? The first like two or three years of his channel, he was just talking to men. So imagine what he's saying now to women, just to men. Yeah. Like there's a video, he went viral. He was asking a dude if he had a big dick. Oh, I remember yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah, the dude was like <laughs> five, seven. He worked at McDonald's or some shit. And he was like 200 or something. Mm -hmm. He was like, you're fat. I'm like, yeah. oh my God. Even, and and, and even he wanted there. a bad bitch. Yeah. Like, you got a big dick? Huh? You have a big dick. I mean, it's above average. I ain't no Ron like, Jeremy. No, 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 no. I asked you if you had a big dick. I said it was above average. I don't know what that is, really. Uh, nigga, you know if you got a big dick or not. Stop the bullshit. <laughs> Every dude know whether or not he got a big dick. I know I got a big dick. You don't know? I mean... You don't have a big dick. That's the point. You don't have a big dick. You don't have a big wallet. You a big, you a fat dude. You got a lot of nerve thinking you should get choosing sitting with a five foot ten and three hundred pounds, making less than a thousand dollars a month at twenty years old. And women should approach you. What they get? They don't even get a big head. <laughs> so, so the whole point is like, in general, mm -hmm. our society now, the Western world or whatever. I know yeah. you're you're from Haiti. Yeah. I'm from uh, Nigeria. Yeah is entitled. Yeah. We f we all feel worthy. We all feel chosen. We mm -hmm. all feel special. The exception to and the rule. E exactly. Which is sometimes I have to, cause, some, cause I'll always say like, well, I'm not that way. So why are they coming at women like that? Because there's so many, like the women that I'm surrounded by, they think like me, but of course, like you surround yourself with like-minded people. So sometimes you forget that there's an outside outside of, there's more than just your bubble and i had to remember like sometimes you can't be like but i'm not that way when you might be the exception to the rules exactly and 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 that's the unfortunate thing like the the rules still stand yeah and i don't feel sympathy for the women who call your show <sighs> those i it, it irritates me i'm gonna tell you why it, it like Yes, yes. I'm gonna tell yes, you. Why. Tell me, tell me. The reason I don't feel sympathy from the average of best video to, to all the videos today is because if you call Kevin Samuel's show, you are looking for a specific archetype. You're looking for a specific guy. This guy 
He makes six figures, he's six foot, he got a jawline, he's handsome, he's charismatic, the whole nine. Well, I honestly want a six figure guy, uh, is what I'm realizing. Okay, I'm so let me just go ahead and net it out for you. You ready? Uh huh. The guys you want aren't asking you out. Well, I'm, I haven't been putting myself out there, honestly. But you put yourself out there enough for the guys you don't want or relief you to ask you out. Those are like guys I met online. Right. Never. So, again, the men you want are not asking you out. See, you ladies do this. Mm -hmm. You go and deal with men who you feel are beneath you, and then you ask yeah. how to fix them. I'm not beneath you. I don't know how to fix a guy that doesn't that's down there. That's not my concern. The better question is, why can't you get a guy on your level? The reality of it is, the way the world works, women are hypergamous, mm -hmm. men are polygamous. Hypergamy just means you go after the best possible option. Yeah. If you find that nigga, mm -hmm. everybody else wants him. So going back to the entitlement, what makes you feel deserving of that man? Now, the thing about it is nobody calls that show asking, hey, Kevin, how do I get a man of integrity? How do I get a man of character? Yeah. How do I get an honest man? How do I get a God-fearing man? Whatever you want. Yeah. How do I get a six-figure man? Because even the average of best girl, she said that I'm finding that I can't respect men who make less than me. Mm -hmm. So if you are going to hold men to a superficial standard, like how much, how many zeros are in his bank account, mm -hmm. guess what we're going to do? Hey, if you've made it all the way to the end, please click that like and subscribe button. Also share this with somebody that you think would gain value from it. Also shout out to our Patreon executive producers and VIP members. Make sure you head over to Patreon and check out some exclusive content. A lot more happens on Patreon that can happen on YouTube. So please uh, consider becoming a member there. Click the thumbnail at the top if you want the full video. Click the thumbnail at the bottom if you want a video that's closely related to this. Again, like, share, subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching. Check out some more of our content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.